Hi guys, um, this is video number 11, and in this video we're going to be talking again about the change in momentum. But more specifically, we're going to be talking about the transfer of momentum from one object to another object. Um, yes, we know that a change in momentum on a single object is called impulse. Great. Now, we also know that momentum is an inherent quality of this object. This object has moment, well, this one doesn't yet, but now this object has momentum. The object itself inside of here has momentum. When two objects collide, momentum is transferred. So if I have one object that has no momentum and I have a second object that has momentum and they collide, meaning that they come into contact, the momentum from one object is transferred to the other object. So we just witnessed a collision. A collision, again, is a transfer of momentum from one object to another object. And there are three different kinds of collisions. The first one is an elastic collision. You can think of elastic like um, an elastic ball is really bouncy. Elastic collisions are bouncy collisions. Where, the two, where we have two objects to start and we have two objects at the end. Meaning that one object hits another, transfers its momentum, and the objects are separate at the end of the collision. The second type of collision is an inelastic collision. Where we have one object, or we have two different objects to start, but only one object to end it. Inelastic collisions are when two objects crush against each other and stick together. So here we have this object had momentum, this object did not, but by the end, there were really just one object that had some amount of momentum. So that was an inelastic collision. The last type of collision that there is is called an explosion. An explosion happens when we have one object and that object bursts into pieces, right? So the first one, an elastic collision, is when one object has momentum, or both objects could have momentum, but they start out as two objects, they bounce off of each other, they end the collision still as their own objects. The second type is called inelastic, and that's when these two objects stick together after the collision. The last one is called an explosion. Oh, it didn't work. The last one is called an explosion when two objects come from one object. This was one thing before, it exploded into pieces. Those objects um, are not one piece afterwards. So again, last time. We have elastic collisions, where we have two objects to start, two objects afterwards. We have inelastic collisions, where we have two objects to start, one object afterwards. And lastly, we have explosions, which is one object, that bursts into multiple objects. Could be two, could be a lot, who knows. But every time we have one of these kinds of collisions, we're transferring momentum from object to object. So a transfer of momentum is a collision. Hope that helps, and I'll see you guys soon.